research project at Imperial College is in synthetic biology, which is the field of engineering organisms with useful functions, such functions that meet challenges in the field of medicine, industry and the environment. Our project specifically focusing, focuses on waste management and the production and recycling of materials. In current waste management practices, much of the waste goes to landfill or incineration, which we saw as a huge issue because after consulting experts in the field, we realised that landfill pollutes the environment eventually and then incineration, although it's a good source of some recovered energy, it uh, produces loads of um, carbon dioxide and also some toxic fumes. So therefore we thought that we would like to uh, develop a technology that gives a better solution in waste management, a solution which is uh, also economically viable. In our system, the engineered E. coli bacteria can produce bioplastic from waste. So essentially we're turning trash into treasure. These are the four bacteria who grew upon LB media with 3% glucose. This is our control without the fast CAB operon. This is just a cell pellet at the bottom, as you can see by its yellow coloration. This contains the native fast CAB operon and it's got a white PHB on top of the pellet. Then these two are improved bacteria. This one contains the fast CAB promoted by J23104 and all that's white there is plastic. And this one is our hybrid promoter, which contains the Operon promoted by the native promoter and J23104. And there's a clear difference between this and any of the other ones. It's produced a lot more. We've produced plastic using bacteria grown on a sugar solution. And we've then improved the amount of plastic they can make, as you can see here. Ian has just shown you how we can make bioplastic from LB glucose medium. Now, we want to show you how to make it from waste. In our process, and also in our experiment in the lab, we are using a very specific feedstock, which is non-recyclable mixed waste out of recycling centres. So, these are small bits of wood, fibre, paper and some plastics as well. We uh, grow our bacteria with this waste that use it as a food source, and then produce bioplastics inside the cell, which then we can extract and uh, potentially manufacture later. We see this waste as a resource and we would like to do something useful with it. We prepare something called waste media, which is essentially minimal media mixed with this waste that we source from Power Day, a waste recycling centre in London. In this waste media, the waste is the sole carbon source for our E. coli cells to grow on. We take this waste media and inoculate it with our engineered E. coli that can then grow overnight in it and use it as a sole carbon source both to grow and also to produce bioplastic. On the next day, we harvest our bacteria and treat them with various chemicals in order to extract the bioplastic from them. Once we have our bacteria that have grown on waste, uh, then we can harvest them by uh, first filtering them and separating them from the big chunks of waste and then centrifugation to pallet the bacteria at the bottom of uh, our containers. The next step is to resuspend these bacteria in a detergent which lyses the cells. Once we have lysed the cells, we need to separate out the plastic. We spin the cells down again and then uh, resuspend in a buffer and then to wash and then spin again and then resuspend in bleach, which is going to destroy everything else but the plastic inside our falcon tubes. After the bleach treatment, we wash the remaining material to get rid of the bleach. We wash it once with water, once with ethanol and after that you can see a nice white powder which is our polyhydroxybutyrate bioplastic. 
This bioplastic can be used in many applications and its main current use is in medical applications. However, we are very excited to see it in 3D printing in the future. After we have extracted bioplastic from waste, we have chemically analysed it and on this picture you can see how yellow coloration indicates the presence of polyhydroxybutyrate. In addition to plastic synthesis from waste, we have also designed a system to recycle bioplastics, which you can find out more about on our wiki.